Hey there and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to configure applications on Maimon. Now let's have a quick look at what our screen might look like. This is it. We want to configure applications and again we can follow either one of those links here or we can just go to applications settings over here. But first let's check what our goal is. We want to add roles, add conference fee and enable our applications later on as well. All right, let's get it going. Let's add here, for example, share applications, delegate and delegation. Ha! Huh. And here it gets interesting already with the delegations. Now, here you have indeed the option to choose whether when it comes to assigning them positions at your conference, you want to give your delegation a whole pool of assignments and then they assign internally who gets what position exactly, or you let yourself, your organizing team, or you just do it yourself, you assign those positions to the individual delegates yourself. So we just want to give a little bit more power to our delegation leaders or head delegates and faculty advisors. And that's why we select the option delegation leaders assign. Don't worry now, though, you can, if you click that little wheel down there, still change that after the fact, if you want to change it. Okay. Now, who we added a whole bunch of settings now here on our page just now. So let's go through them one by one. We have our chair applications here and we have start dates, end dates. I'm fine with those. They look good to me. Um, and we have a motivation letter. Yes, let's enable the motivation letter. I would love to have a motivation letter for my chairs. Let's also enable assignment preferences because I'd love to know what uh, my chairs would like to be assigned as. The dates for delegates look fine as well. Um, now let's not ask for motivation letter. That's fine. But I would love to still know um, how many or where they would like to be assigned. I'm going to select the minimum preferences as zero though, because I don't want to force them if they want to not share any preferences with me. For delegations, it looks fine for me. I'm not going to add anything here either, except for the assignment preferences. But again here, if they want any preferences, that's fine with me. Now, what we want to do next is we want to actually add and customize the fees because Obviously, unfortunately, we can't organize our conference for free. So we click here in the top on the fees tab. Now, this is the fees we have available. Um, and well, there's a bunch. So let's go through them step by step. We have our chair fee. That is the fee that chairs will have to pay to participate at our conference. Um, zero euros, it's fine. I don't want many, my chairs to pay anything anyway. Now, we have the delegate fee. Huh. There we might want to charge some money because, well, there's a lot of delegates and they cost us money as well. So let's add a delegate fee of 20 euros, for example, here, and that's fine. Now we have done here for delegations a head delegate fee, a faculty advisor fee, and a delegation fee. Now, it is important to note that the head delegate fee is indeed not in addition to the delegate fee, right? So head delegates won't have to pay both delegate fee and the head delegate fee. Instead, they just pay the delegate fee. So I want to set that also to 20 euros because to me, head delegates and delegates are essentially from a cost standpoint the same. Faculty advisors, uh, they're not that expensive. They don't drink quite as much coffee. So they just get 15 euros as a fee. If we want to have an additional delegation fee, so a fee that a whole delegation has to pay because they're more administrative effort, then we can add that here as well. Additional products is what you can list here. So if you want to sell, for example, a, let's say a uh, social ticket, let's add that here, social ticket, ticket, then you can add that here. Let's say a social ticket costs 10 euros and floop, that's it. Super simple and the dates are automatically generated as well. Uh, we want to also have a friends and family discount. Friends and family. So if they use that, they get five euros off their purchase. The coupon code, let's go just with friends and add this discount. And you can share that now and they will be able to use that discount code at checkout. Right. Beautiful. So I'm happy with those fees. I could also uh, add custom questions. So for example, your chairs, you might want to ask them a uh, short text. What's your chairing style? Uh, make it a required question. 
Um, uh, but everything else, I don't want to know much from them. I get their preferences, the chair sent a motivation letter already. That's fine. Um, we also ask some things for everybody. Like Maimon does this by default and you don't have to ask it yourself. So this is, for example, here, um, email address, home address, nationality, date of birth, diet, and place and field of study. So this is something that, an information that you will get from every applicant. Um, so you don't have to add those questions yourself. We can also customize the notification emails that, um, that our participants receive. So for example, when their application has been accepted, you can customize that. You don't have to. Uh, and for me personally, I'm just gonna leave it like this um, because I like the defaults. All right, if we go back to our general settings, we have changed everything the way we like it. So what we can do now is we can enable all those applications. And this is important, this last step, we have to enable it else it will not show on our little website. All right, so it's all enabled, all that we wanted. We don't need observers for now, that's fine. So if we go switch back to our page now, we see apply now, the button has shown up and we can let people apply to our conference. Floop, no, it says not complete yet. It might just take a second to load and here we are. It has indeed now turned green and we're happy with our setup. Perfect. Your conference is now ready to take applications and I hope you're gonna have a lot of fun uh, setting things up. If you have any questions, reach out anytime and we're looking forward to seeing you in a different tutorial somewhere.